friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 7th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update and as well, our star. Looking here, the last 48 hours on our sun, we've seen multiple solar flares. We've also seen a very large plasma filament, northern hemisphere there, lifting and ejecting from the surface of the sun, creating a very sizable CME. We also have a halo CME to talk about after a C-class Earth-facing solar flare. Look in the last 48 hours, incoming active sunspot region, plasma filament eruption there. Look in the last 48 hours, outgoing, that's pretty active as well. Plasma filament eruption right there creating a coronal mass ejection. And that plasma filament is still stretching from the surface. Having a look at the last 48 hours of events, multi-spectrum, very active sunspot regions, and as well, coronal hole turning away and a newly uh, forming coronal hole in the southern hemisphere, showing there. 171 angstroms, just some amazing images of our sun today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. And thank you, Robert Holly, for your love and respect and inspiration today. Couldn't have done it without you, buddy. Thank you. Having a look here, 171 angstroms. We do have eight sunspot regions. Closer look here at another light. Most of the activity coming from that cresting left-hand side sunspot region. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report, but we're still up over 515 kilometers per second. Solar winds. Solar x-ray flux, as you can see, reporting strong C-class solar flares throughout the day today after the strong M-class solar flare last night. Solar proton flux remains regular. Geomagnetic activity came down today to a KP1, hopping up to a KP2 recently. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral, nothing has changed since yesterday. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing a large CME taking off from our sun. Was kind of backside, but also in the northern part of our sun, as we saw in those earlier clips. We do have some energy coming. In the next two days. Nothing major to report though. Having a look at LASCO 3, showing the last 48 hours of energy leaving our sun. There's that large CME taking off from the north. And then watch all around the disk. In the last few images, we'll slow the CMEs down. You'll see that energy leaving. Last few images here. Halo CME. Right there now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still seeing an increase in seismicity around the world and as well strange places for earthquakes we're going to start out here with a very large 7.1 magnitude earthquake that struck isangal vanuatu about 10 hours ago no tsunami watch and that was off of land 5.2 there kermadec islands Philippines still rocking today, largest being the 5.4 as well. Interesting earthquake here in Taiyo, China, Taiyo, China, as well, Japan, 387 kilometer depth. That is the deepest the past 24 hours. Seismicity erupting through Alaska, Alaska Peninsula reporting a 4.1. And then Hawaiian Islands here, 4.4 Hawaii region. That is just northeast of Kilauea Volcano. USGS reporting 260 earthquakes past 24 hours. And they're reporting about 49 across the Big Island right now. Largest being the 4.4 northeast of the summit caldera, Kilauea. Across the United States, not much to report. Pretty quiet. 5.8 here in Tapia, Mexico, 44 kilometer depth. That is around some very active volcanoes. Of course, Popopoketatol. 
as well a 5.8 here struck the West Chile Rise, Nazca Plate. Activity here, San Antonio de los Cobros, and as well into the Scotia Plate, 4.9. Across the world here to the Eurasia Plate, Azerbaijan reporting a 5.4, and as well as Somalia reporting a 5.1. Interesting earthquakes, the Gulf of Aden, that's been going on for about a few days now anyway. So heads up, stay safe, stay aware, prepared. Having a look here at the last seven days for shakers around the world, and it does look very busy, because it is. And it's really increased since our space weather event from about five days ago. We're actually seeing more seven point uh, magnitude earthquakes than we've seen in the past decade. 19 7.0 earthquakes reported this year so far in 2023. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Elevated rings pointing out the depth of the earthquakes. Having a look here at Wikipedia showing the year of earthquakes and as you can see 2023 showing 19 and that is the most out of the last decade 2013 reporting 17. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated and as well satellite imagery from around the world. Got Popopacarito in Mexico as well Dakono in Indonesia, Fuego, Guatemala, Merapi, Indonesia, Santa Maria in Guatemala, 198 active hazards. A lot of them are floods across Africa. Nevada's de Ruiz in Colombia. Also Sangay in Ecuador. Samaru in Indonesia. Sabincaya in Peru. Tsunami Watch is ringing across the Pacific. Krakatoa in Indonesia. So yeah, that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. Showing here a satellite imagery. Very large system moving through the North Atlantic. Lots of moisture is going to be heading into the United Kingdom and Ireland. Long range forecast. Overlooking the West Pacific, Southeast Asia and Australia. We do have a tropical cyclone that is named... And we'll be heading towards the northeastern regions of Australia. Tropical Cyclone Jasper is alive and is a Category 3 right now. And it is heading southward right into a high-pressure ridge. Most likely will be breaking down by the time it makes landfall. So stay tuned for daily forecasts. Looking around Europe and Africa, system moving through the Mediterranean. And as well, multiple systems coming in from the Atlantic. Having a look at the air quality forecast for the next few days. Some pretty big eruptions off of Colombia and as well Mexico. Overlooking Europe and Africa. All the SO2 coming from Mount Etna in Italy. Sweeping across the northern hemisphere still and as well mixing down into parts of North Africa. Then overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. Big plumes coming out of China this week. And as well through Indonesia, Kamchatka, and Alaska. Now let's get to world weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. We do have a low-pressure system, Alberta Clipper, that's dropping snow across the Canadian prairies and up into Ontario Looking to be about 20 to 30 centimeters by the time it all wraps up. But we've got warm temperatures this week across eastern Canada. And as well, rain moving into the west coast. Watch for an extreme weather event here next uh, sun. Well, no, this Sunday into Monday across eastern, uh, northeastern parts of the United States. And then watch for multiple systems here to develop in the long range. One of them could be a doozy coming out of the Gulf, heading towards the Bahamas. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Big low off your coast right now. Lots of wind and rain 
and will continue here for the next few days as these systems join forces and then eventually come into land. Big high pressure ridge being forced southward over Africa. And then long range forecast high pressure ridge builds in and you will be clear. And then overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, India, no major systems developing for you guys. Tropical Cyclone Jasper fighting a high pressure ridge, most likely will ride it westward towards the Northern Territory of Australia and then hang around Northern parts. I'm gonna leave you here looking at the multiple systems and tight isobars, so windy and rainy events here continuing for the next few days across BC coast, Washington, and especially Alaska and throughout the Aleutian Islands. Major winter storm as winter 2023 is ramping up. Thanks so much for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.